I'm Dr. Mukong Adesso. I'm a general surgeon. I do general surgery cases like hernias and gallbladders, and I work mostly at Retreat Doctors Hospital, Henrico Doctors Hospital, and um, Param Doctors Hospital. I've always liked general surgery because I like how the patients feel better instantaneously. You come in with a problem, you fix it, and they feel good. For example, if you have a hernia, there's an obvious defect, you fix the hernia, you can see the change, and they go home. You come in with uh, inflamed gallbladder or appendix, you're hurting, you do work, you take out the gallbladder, you take out the appendix, they feel better and go home. So I've always liked that aspect about it. I'm originally from Cameroon, I came here after high school. Um, I went to medical school at Howard University, then I did my residency in general surgery at MCV VCU. And then I did a one-year fellowship in minimal invasive surgery at, um, at um, UVA, University of Virginia. After that, I came to Richmond and I've been practicing, I've been a practicing general surgeon since then. I do general surgery cases like hernias, gallbladders, breast, soft tissue masses, and a lot of abdominal surgeries. Now, as far as robotic surgery is concerned, I do mostly hernias and gallbladders, ventral hernias, inguinal hernias, and gallbladders. Robotic surgery in particular, it's even nicer because you're doing the same things but with smaller incisions. Instead of making a big incision, you can do just as much with two or three small incisions because you have wrist-like action. So you repair a hernia with a small incision, you take out a gallbladder with a small incision. Patients like it too because it's less pain, quicker recovery, less chance of infection. You see well with the robot so you can dissect better. Single side gallbladder surgery is great. The reason I say so is because you can make one small incision in the navel, three or four centimeters in length, you hide it in the navel and you take out the gallbladder. When the person goes home, when the wound heals, they don't see a scar. So if you're into scarless surgery, you don't see a scar at all. It's good because it's less pain, it's also quicker recovery. Now you're comparing it to the laparoscopic surgery where you're making about four incisions to take out the gallbladder. So you have an option of one incision in the navel that hides the incision, and when it heals, you don't see it, versus four incisions. You go home same day, you can shower the next day, you stay active, and there's less pain. The misconception might be that because it's robotic surgery, it may take longer. On the contrary, it's actually quicker. The reason it's quicker is because you can dissect well and you can see well, so you can actually move quicker. So for example, a hernia, an average hernia may take about one hour to repair it. An average gallbladder, depending on how bad the gallbladder is, may also take about an hour to do it, maybe less, maybe more. At the end of the day, though, what you really want is a good surgery, and what you want is a good outcome. And with a robot, you're not taking that much more time. You may actually use less time, but you actually have better dissection, so you go home without any complications. The risk for robot surgery is basically the same for risk for open surgery or laparoscopic surgery. Yes, you always have your risk for possible bleeding, even though it's not that bad because of the robot, you have more control. You always have a risk for infection depending on what surgery it is. But in reality, let's talk about a hernia. It's less risk in terms of infection because it's a small incision. And even though you may use mesh, it's also less risk because it's a small incision and you slide the mesh in. But yes, you have low risk as far as bleeding and infection, but overall, compared to open approach or laparoscopic approach, it is not any more, I think it's actually less because the incisions are small and you're doing a whole lot with small incisions. The engineers are basically making it better. The instruments are finer, the visualization is getting better, the, the mobility of the, of the instruments are getting better. So I think the sky is the limit when it comes to technology, robotics and surgery.